Hi again guys, so I've got another episode of NSPAC for you today. It's been a little while since I made one of these, and as you can see from the title of the video, this is for the Chaparral 2X VGT car. Now, I've actually wanted to make a tune for this car ever since it came out, and I was really looking forward to doing it before it was released, but unfortunately, of course, you can't really upgrade it, and the top speed doesn't really change. So, that was a shame. I was really, really disappointed about that, and ended up never using the car. But today I decided to try something a little bit different to detune the car to see if it was any good in say the 700 or 750pp category to make it genuinely usable in career mode and online. And as it turns out, it really is. So obviously you want racing soft tyres. For suspension, you can't do anything to it. Now for brake balance, and this is something which may be stupid of me, but I've only just thought of this today. But the main problem that uh, I think the Red Bull, cars like the Red Bull, the Chaparral 2X have, is that they are, or their brakes are too good. They slow down far too quickly, you end up braking too early and wasting time slowing down. So I've reduced the brake balance on this one just to two. I tried it on one, that wasn't quite powerful enough, but uh, on two it's pretty much perfect. And now it breaks more like a, a Lamar car, like a Group C or an LMP car. So uh, obviously adjust that as to what you feel is right for your driving style. But uh, I find 2 is right for me. Obviously you can't adjust the gears or anything else virtually on this one. I can't do an oil change to it. As you can see I've reduced the power down to 58.3%. And I've increased the ballast weight by the maximum. I've left it in the middle because it's already got a 50-50 distribution. So as you can see the specs are far far lower than the original. The power to weight ratio is that is now not even one horsepower per kilo but uh, it does allow it into the 700 pp category. Traction control is not available on this car so obviously it's turned off. ABS I've got on one and as it turns out I was pleasantly surprised that it actually makes a really really good 700 pp track car. The handling is a little bit heavier than I expected it to be. It's which is good, it's better than being twitchy. Um, the brakes, obviously, like I said, are slightly softer than before because I've reduced the power, but it does make it far more Group C car in its driving style, which I personally prefer. It makes it more predictable, uh, allows you to plan for corners better. Obviously, being essentially a turbine engine, in its obviously it's not a turbine engine, but the way it works is very similar to a turbine engine. A single gear, effortlessly building torque, that kind of thing. So acceleration is never a problem, especially low range and mid range. Top end, surprisingly, despite having the extra weight and virtually half the power, it still does 260, which surprised me. It just takes longer to get there. That said, it still does 0 to 200 miles per hour in about 12 seconds, which is still pretty quick. It does 0 to 250 or 0 to top speed, say 260, which, well, yeah, it is 260, in about 30 35 seconds. So, pretty good. It's not quite as quick as a Huayra, but uh, obviously, a Huayra wouldn't stand a chance against this car around the track. It is a bit twitchy still, but I mean, it's always going to be. It takes some getting used to. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a really, really capable car. Personally, I find it better in cockpit mode because you get a better feel of like the proportions and the weight balance of the car and uh, there are some cars that I find that with you just feel like or I feel like it's a better view to feel the shape of the car but you know that's just me but um, yeah I've forgotten what I was going to say about this then oh yeah on uh, my first test run which was just now I did a lap of the new bedroom room had a couple of crashes but essentially it was a five and a half minute lap now i could definitely do quicker than that and there are plenty of pe pe people people who could go way quicker than me so considering it is a, a genuine 700 pp car five and a half minutes means that nothing else in that pp category comes anywhere near how quick this is i mean the r92 cp can run like five and a half at best with like a perfect driver 
I run like 550s in the R92 CP, 540s, that kind of time. This runs 530s effortlessly. So, I mean, you could probably even, with the right driver, get this down to maybe a 520 or maybe even 510. Maybe even quicker, I don't know. But uh, the point is that I'm not aware of any other 700pp car, either tuned or detuned, that can come anywhere near to this. So, yeah. I hope you find this tune setup helpful. I think I'm going to use this car a lot more than I was planning to before, which is cool because I love the car. And yeah, so that's about it. So I hope you find this tune setup helpful. And as always, thanks for watching.